right and let me share the screen okay so t sql we have developer positions and we have dba position also uh, sometimes uh, this is very important anyhow we just discuss it right so this is very important sometimes they will ask you okay application dba application dba Bobby. should have please 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 Bobby. mute it please mute it sir please mute it hey mm, come on hey. mute you all right okay so just muted you all in case of any questions you can unmute and you can ask me right app dba sometimes we'll heard this word called app dba application dba guys means your you should have knowledge both on sql dt sql okay t sql plus sql dba knowledge guys means development side and dba side also you should have knowledge that is called app dba very rarely out of 100 jobs five jobs will be there for app dba okay app dba means uh, if you have a t sql development knowledge and dba knowledge that is called app db application dba means you have to work on development things and dba things as well okay so uh, don't try for this guys okay it's very difficult uh, see developer position itself is a difficult thing uh, you have to learn coding and also a lot of things involved so usually people those who don't like the coding they will come towards the database side even i also don't like the coding okay i myself don't like the coding and all so what we have to do for that uh, we have an option the usually developers will have a lot of um, big big packages and all guys okay imagine a three years four years guy will have at least 20 lakhs packages at least 20 lpa okay a three years four years developer imagine if you are developer if you are developer uh, like having a six years or 10 years experience minimum your package will be 50 to 80 lakhs development is of course we don't think they are very big people and all of course initially they will get an opportunity to learn slowly and then uh, they will be habituated uh, the same kind of thing and uh, same kind of work will come in every project and they will be habituated guys that's it don't think they are very great people and all developer means so they, they, they again a uh, lot of developers can't work if, if we if they don't have google okay most of the developers not only developers okay of course the uh, internet is useful for everyone but uh, they will depend mostly they will depend on uh, google only they will they will google it and they will there some developers really good developers are there of course they are going to write the coding and all but most of the developers they they will depends on the google only so that's okay that is the development okay so that is the developer position and all so for that you should have coding language if you want that much packages and all right so dba you cannot expect that much package i'll tell you again how much package and all you have to expect okay i'll tell you guys so dba you cannot expect that much package and all but work is work will be somewhat uh, simple okay you don't need to learn any development language any programming languages and all you can manage okay mostly uh sql dba the, the one of the main advantage with the sql dba why sql db is so much popular is uh, it's a gui graphical user interface graphical user interface guys it's a gui that's why it was so famous guys okay graphical user interface means the way you how you are handling your laptop most of you can create folders just simply right click new folder you can create folders but internally what happened you know what is happening internally you know okay so imagine you want to create one folder right right click what you are going to do new folder okay so imagine I'm just mentioning like this batch what if I just created folder like this guys this is a GUI way of creating folder but this Microsoft can't understand GUI okay you don't know what is GUI graphical user interface and all so whenever then how come it created folders or if you ask me that question for every action internally there will be query associated with it okay if I select a new and if I click folder for this action once if i click folder you are able to see folder right for that click there is a meaning guys okay internally one command will see just now i deleted one folder right click delete okay i am deleting this folder if you click on this delete button believe me back end one command will run on the os and which will delete the folder 
we don't know GUI, your OS don't know GUI, your Microsoft platform don't know what is GUI, it knows only command, every software will run based on the commands queries only. GUI will help you in preparing that query, you don't know what is the query to delete the folder, right? You don't know what is the query to prepare, the, to create the folder, right? This GUI interface will help you in preparing those kind of commands and queries. Because of that feature, all the Microsoft products are very popular, guys, including the database softwares also. So GUI means don't think, uh, GUI is creating the database, uh, uh, GUI is creating the folders, GUI is deleting the folders, GUI is doing everything. No, GUI will, GUI will help you in preparing the query. The query, once I just click on the folder, one query will run in the back end. Then that's why I'm able to see this new folder on the desktop. If I'm renaming it, one query will run while renaming. Then only I'm able to rename the folder name. Okay, so for everything query will be associated. But it's very difficult to learn the queries guys. We cannot remember all the queries. So that's why we have a GUI interface. So your database Microsoft SQL Server is popular only because of the GUI interface, graphical user interface guys. Right, Chalo. let's go back. And now those who asked that question, is it clear guys? Is it clear? Uh, someone asked the question right for database what is the difference between tsql and all is it clear now i guess you are mute okay that's fine okay so uh, i want to pull the information of this shoes spark shoes then i have to write one query but you cannot ask your customer say hey, do you want shoes then write this query then only i will buy the shoe to you you cannot ask the customers like that you have to simplify the things for that only we have this particular applications and all applications simplifies your life earlier if you want to transfer the money how difficult it is you have to go to bank bank so much of rush will be there you have to fill the form you have to be in line you have to be in queue and then uh, like the queue will move 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 and finally okay uh, once you reach that cashier you will go to the lunch break okay so again you have to wait for one uh, 30 minutes or 40 minutes so it will be like that okay so you the it's, it's a kind of very big process if you want to deposit the money in another bank account but nowadays simple you will open your upa app you will simply type your pin and how much amount you want to transfer just in a single click you are transferring the money earlier the whole day you have to spend now in a single click Imagine within a minute you are sending the money. That is that, that that simplifies your life, guys. So applications will simplify your life. But applications can't store the data. Okay. This application, let me show you. Okay. Uh, let me show you one picture. Okay. So this is called a three-tier architecture, guys. Three-tier architecture of the application. Right. This is called three tier architecture, tier one, tier two, tier three. So what is this three tier? Okay. So this is your browser. How actually a database will work? I'll explain in this diagram. Okay. How actually applications will work? So this is your browser. Imagine you want to buy one product as discussed. You want to buy Spark shoes and you will open your browser and either google chrome or internet explorer or mozilla firefox or we have different different uh, browsers okay you'll open the browser and you will simply type okay www.amazon.com or you, which product you want to buy you will simply type in the google and you will you will type that product name and all okay or i want to buy the shoes just uh, shoes okay right you will type like that of course you will get some results and uh, at least one website you are going to open so once you click on that website okay so first the traffic traffic means you can call it as a request the traffic will goes to a web server means you want to access amazon.com or amazon.in okay you will type www.amazon.in if you remember the address or you will simply type amazon in the google you will get a lot of results then you will select the first result which is amazon.in once you selected that 
automatically amazon website will open so why guys once if i selected amazon why amazon is opening why not flipkart or azure why how it is possible okay sir because yes yes please someone is saying the answer sir because of ip address very good okay amazon dot in right this is called a domain name guys okay this is called a domain name when you click www.amazon.in or when you select www.amazon.in so there is an ip associated with this domain okay so one ip address will be associated ip address will be associated with this domain so we don't know what is amazon.in okay actually if you want to open amazon application you have to type the ip address of the amazon application but uh, if i ask you hey can you please if, if you want to open amazon application please remember this ip address okay something like 10.25.67.89 Imagine I ask you if you want to open Amazon application, please remember this IP address. Then only you can open Amazon application. If you want to open some uh, okay uh, Flipkart, please remember one more uh, IP address. Okay, then only you can okay uh, what we can say uh, open this Flipkart and all. Okay, so if I say like that, how many IP addresses you can remember? Hardly one or two. How many contact numbers we remember? Yes, tell me frankly. Tell me frankly. How many contact numbers you remember till now? One, two, three, four, five. Tell me, guys. How many max contacts you remember till now? Just think about it. How many max contacts you can pull your parents, uh, brothers, sisters, wives, husbands? Maybe two, three. Two, three. Hardly two, three, right? Hardly two, three. So what we are going to do, guys? We are going to save daddy. Imagine daddy. Uh, we remember the daddy's phone number something like one phone number is there we remember it we can type and it will go to okay uh, if if we if we type the call if we type the number and if you just click on call button uh, it will go to daddy's phone okay the ring will go to daddy's phone but uh, every time it's very hard to remember numbers so what we are going to do we are going to save that number as daddy or mommy or whatever it might be brother or sister will save that number so next time what you are going to do next time you will go to contacts and you will simply select daddy automatically call will goes to daddy means in your phone also daddy will be there in my phone also daddy will be there okay if you click your daddy that phone directory it will goes to your daddy and if i click on my daddy's phone number it will goes to my daddy's phone okay a uh, simply i want to say the name associated with that phone number you know right actually if you are calling daddy the telephone directory don't know what is daddy but the name associate the number associated with the daddy it is picking that number and it is calling to that particular number right someone started the video i guess please stop it santosh someone started yes thank you okay so if you just simply select the daddy number daddy name automatically the call is, call is going to the daddy's number means here the name is converting into number and again daddy is calling to you you don't see the daddy's number you will get simply daddy is calling again you are getting call from your daddy again that means daddy you can see on the screen that daddy is calling okay that means whenever you are calling the name is converted to the number whenever you are receiving the call the number is converted to the name in the same way you cannot remember these ip addresses to connect to the amazon or flipkart or google or facebook or whatsapp or whatever it might be whatever application it is you can simply remember the names guys amazon flipkart simply you type in the google of course we have wonderful search engine once you type it to google in the google automatically it will pull and you are selecting it that house it becomes very simple okay so in the same way who is helping guys again at the end of the day if you are clicking amazon it is pulling this ip address only okay if you are typing a flipkart it is pulling this ip address only so here in the background one tire in the tire one 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 server called web server this web server will is helping to convert a name into ip ip address into name guys 
every application will have this this three tier architecture every application every application will have this three tier architecture in the three tier the first tier is tier 1 this tier 1 consists web server what web server will do it will convert name into ip ip address into name guys like how your daddy's phone daddy's name is changing into phone number and daddy's phone number is changing into name is it clear guys what web server will do everyone clear sir yes sir right so whenever you are typing a, a request in the browser first it will touch the web server of the application right and then you are clicking on product then once once it was detected okay this is amazon application then you are able to see this interface guys once you are connected to the amazon servers then amazon application will be opened this is your front end application guys front end front end okay applications usually will call it as a front end application will usually call it as a front end applications means uh, you can see in the front guys the application you can see the front but application can't do anything i mean like it can't store any data and all application is just an interface between you those who are using and the database okay then once the request if you see here okay the request will goes to amazon web server amazon web server will open will connect and then amazon it will send it to the application servers application services and then you are able to see this kind of application guys this kind of application as discussed if you click on any product if you click on any product automatically you are able to see the product guys okay so when i click on this product when i click on this product okay automatically i am able to see the product this product information cost of this product availability of this product availability in the particular locations okay delivery of the product and on what date it is going to deliver what is the specifications what is the written policy what is the replacement policy what is the warranty policy how many models how many colors what is the price range everything everything uh, you can see okay in that particular phase from where we are getting the whole information guys from where we are getting this whole information from the database okay so whenever you click on any product automatically the application server will send that request to the database server guys database server database server okay again i am saying it's a database server this might be a sql database this might be an oracle database this might be a mysql this might be a nosql this might be a mongodb this might be a db2 whatever it might be this is just a database it depends it depends upon the amazon requirement if they are interested in the sql server features they will use microsoft sql server in the back end if they are very much interested in the oracle features they will use oracle database in the back end but at the end of the day whenever you click whatever you click on the application it will send the request to the database we have a lot of shoes right in the in the in the amazon database lot of shoes will be there why i got only this shoe when i click on this particular product why i got only this shoe guys when I click on this product, why I'm getting this particular shoe? Instead of Sparks, why I'm not getting Nike or Reebok? Reebok. Why I'm not getting from different companies? Okay, so why? Because, yes. Right, so when you click on this, there is a meaning to this click. Okay there is a meaning different meaning to this click there is a different meaning to this click there is a different meaning to this. every click is having different what is that meaning 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 what is that meaning okay means when you click on one product it will prepare one query and it will send it to the database software that query will run on the database which is a tsql query why because microsoft sql can understand tsql right a tsql query will run on the database Whenever it runs a T-SQL query, it will give you some output, right? So that output database server will send it to the application server. Application server will send it to the your web server. Web server is able to display you on your screen, guys. This is how it is going to work. Means like for every click, there is a command in your laptop. For every click, there is a command in your laptop. For refresh also, one command will run. For refresh also, one command will run. Whatever you want to see, 
there is a command will run i want to see in small icons small icons one command ran and it is showing a small icons i want to see large icons one command ran and it is showing large icons i want to see normal icons okay i want to see as usual like this means for every click there is a meaning in the same way for every click one query is running that query is pulling the information that query is running on the back end database that's why the database you cannot see it will be in the back end that's why people will call database software or back end database software and applications as a front end applications okay front end applications and back end database software guys okay so you have three tiers in first tier we have web server in second tier we have application server in third tier we have database server okay uh, the request will comes from the browser and it will touch the web server the uh, web server will send the request to the application server application server will send the request to the database server database server will execute the query and then it will send the request to re reply to the application server Rep the same reply will be sent from application server to web server and web server will send the same reply to the browser how many actions 1 2 3 executing a query 4 sending results to application 5 application to web server 6 web server to browser 7 means your single click involving seven clicks guys seven actions your single click involving seven actions that's why you are able to see the product imagine one single click one single click one single click running okay in involves seven actions one single click involves seven actions that's why you are able to see this particular product guys so this is called three tier architecture every application will work like this only every application will work like this only okay so as discussed this back end software can you can see here small uh, what is this what is this symbol called sphere kind of thing. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So it's a small smear, a spear kind of thing. So usually this is a symbol for a database, guys. A spear kind of thing. This is a symbol for a database. Okay. So like this, you can see. So at the end of the day, that database is doing everything. But of course, web web server is very important. Application server is also very important, and database server is also important. But seventy percent, eighty percent. Why we have to discuss all these things? Why, guys? Can anyone tell me why I am explaining? Okay, this architecture to you. Suddenly, someone comes to you. Hey, I am unable to open the application. Or hey, I am unable to open this product. Or hey, database is not working. So, what is your response? What is your immediate response? Tell me, guys. After listening this class, what is your immediate response? Tell me, guys. Just repeat the question. So someone comes to you in the organization. Someone comes to you, okay, and he is saying, "Hey, my database is not working, or I am unable to open the products, or I am unable to, uh, okay, uh, the application is not accessible." So what is your response? What is your next response? What? How you are going to respond to their question? Error. Um, yes, please. Um, error connection. Error. Error on where? we have to see whether it is an application error or database error correct exactly 90 percentage people is going to blame database hey database is not working hey database is not working hey database is not working seven things involved in this particular process the request has to comes from browser to web server web server to application application to database and database query has to be executed again the results has to Goes to tier three to tier two, tier two to tier one, tier one to browser. Seven actions involved in this. If one server is not working, web server is not working, the the database won't work. If application server is not working, their the database won't work. If database is not working really, their application don't work. Or if the network is down between the servers, database won't work. Or his internet is down, database won't work. So lot of things involved in the particular. issue but people will simply blame database so that's why i we just discussed this this is very important of course you should know the architecture of the application and this is again important to defend yourself 
we will check and update you the next response we will check and update you if there is no issues from the database side you can strongly like you can say confidently you can say there is no issues from the database side that might be issue the why because initially once we got the job uh, this kind of uh, people always will con connect to the database uh, dbs hey database is not working at all you might feel oh my god there is an issue from the database i don't know what i have to do but that might be an issue from the database side that might be an issue from the network side that might be an issue from the web, ser web server side or that might be an issue from the application server side so very confidently just go and check the sql server is up and running or not i'll tell you how to i'll how to i'll i'll show you how to do that okay just check whether any issues are there from your database just do some health checks on your database if your database is good tell them straight away tell them no issues from the database please check with the either application team or our web team or network team you should be in a position to tell like that oh, no 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 i will check after 30 minutes uh, still you are checking after one hour still you are checking but that's not after that uh, one senior dba came and he found the issue okay and it is from network side he simply routed the user to the hey please go to the uh, network uh, team this you this issue belongs to network team you should be in a position okay uh, to identify whether that that issue is from database side or okay uh, from other team side and all okay that's why it is very important very very important guys is it clear now so people uh, they they are ready to blame the dbs first of all so that's why you have to know this architecture so that might be issue from anywhere it might be an issue with the database also but there is some chances that that there is an issue with the network side okay web server side or application server side okay guys is it clear about this three tier architecture any questions any doubts please sir yes please uh, due to uh, poor internet connection i am not able to connect to the class okay uh, how can i uh, i'll i'll record each and every session okay uh, means you are using mobile hotspot no sir no ha ah, yeah mobile hotspot and with laptop okay that's fine okay might be there is an issue I mean like uh, sometimes mobile hotspot means uh, uh limited internet connectivity will be there so yeah try to okay try to go to a, some good location where you are getting a proper signal and all okay so i am going to record each and every class but uh, every time you cannot miss the class right that is the main thing so check in which room you will get a good 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 internet connection and all try to check your internet speed and all uh, it doesn't need mbps and mbps of speed hardly 2 3 mb okay is good to listen the classes without having any issues and all so okay. we don't need twenty mb is that yes yes so Next go to that I... yes please okay go to any room check the internet speed at least if you are getting some 6 mbps 4 mbps that is good okay go to any okay, location you, where sir. we are getting yeah at least 4 mbps yeah. internet speed okay my question my question is yes, how yes, can sir. i this class which okay. i missed okay okay that's fine i am going to record each and every class again okay that i am going to discuss after this uh, every session will be recorded uh, 20 to 25% sessions will be uploaded to the youtube initially you have to access the okay classes let me show you that as well from where we have to access go to youtube okay simply type youtube in the youtube simply type sql dba classes okay just type okay. sql dba classes okay dba classes okay sql okay. dba classes and for the first the first channel you can see this symbol with the three black servers okay this is our channel okay. guys uh, so my kind request everyone immediately please try to subscribe to this channel why because from today onwards the recordings will be uploaded to this channel please go and subscribe to this channel immediately it's a request it's not order okay please try to subscribe to the channel immediately guys it's very important to me okay just go to this channel this is our channel with 4.4k subscribers so open this channel once you go to this channel okay we have a playlist you can see here this is batch 43 playlist this is batch 42 playlist this is batch 41 playlist in the same way the next batch batch 44 playlist that is your batch that is our batch i am going to create a separate playlist batch 44 uh, initially for the first uh, 20 to 30 classes or uh, 35 classes i'll upload to the youtube guys don't expect okay i'll get all the resources uh, i can see all the i can watch all the videos in the youtube no okay i'm not full 
I am not going to upload the advanced concepts and all in the YouTube channel initially. Okay, instead of sending it to you directly, I'll upload to the uh, batch 44 playlist. Simply go to the batch 44 playlist and it will be there uh, serial order class one. I, I'll, I'll upload batch 44 class one, batch 44 class two like that I'm going to upload. Simply go through those class one, class two, class three. Every 40 minutes is a uh, record, one recording session. 40 minutes class one, 40 minutes class two, 40 minutes class three, like that. Every 40 minutes one recording will be there. Okay, just simply Entire go through class. class. Will be available, right? Entire class will be available. Again, that particular class will be available, not entire course. Entire class will be available without having any issues like whatever we are talking. You can I don't edit anything. Simply after class, the recordings will be processed and automatically. Okay. Uh, those will be okay, uploaded. So points. yeah, I don't uh, uh, edit those videos and all. As it is, whatever we are talking, it will be there in the YouTube also. Okay. But my kind request, everyone, please subscribe to the channel uh, from day one onwards. From today onwards, you have to watch the videos in this channel only for the first few days. Later, I'm going to remaining videos. I'll, I'm going to record each and every session and I'll give you access. I'll, I'll keep the, uh, I'll create one uh, Google account, Gmail account, batch 44. And inside that, I'm going to upload the videos. I'm going to give you access to the video so that you can watch the videos, guys. Okay. Okay. So nothing Thank to worry you. in case if anyone is missing the class or anyone is having any disturbances and all. Again, you can watch this class in the YouTube. Uh, uh, yes, uh, one assignment is there. Uh, how many of you subscribe to my channel? That is the assignment for today. Please raise your hands. Only two. I got response only two till now. If you can't raise your hand, at least you can send a yes message in the chat. This is very important, guys. Again, people will call me, sir, where I have to access the recordings and all. Okay, so that's why I'm saying just please access, please uh, subscribe to the channel and uh, just click on the bell icon. You will get the notification. Once I uploaded the video, immediately you will get the notification that I uploaded class 1, class 2, class 3. Like okay. Samsung SM. Samsung SM. Uh, you are doing something on my screen. Don't do anything, sir. Okay, let me try to... Right. Okay. That's fine. Uh, till now, eight people raised their hand and... Uh, uh, some of you said yes, okay. I mean like at least 20 people remaining 10 people Please try to subscribe to my channel guys. It is very important not only SQL DBA classes I will upload other classes also like performance tuning and also please subscribe to the channel and all right fine That's fine. Okay, not yet done guys not yet done. We have a lot of things to discuss right 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 Where is this preparation? Yeah, done. Okay, so what is SQL Server? We just discussed it. Now everyone got basic idea. What is the SQL Server guys? At least at least a basic idea. Of course, you will came to know what is SQL Server at the end of the okay, this course. By July 9th, you will came to know what is SQL Server, what SQL Server will do. Okay, everything you can came to know by July 9th, but at least a basic idea what SQL Server will do, right? Is it clear? Everyone? Any issues, any doubts, please? Sir, I have one doubt. Sir. Yes, please. Sir, there are three types of servers, no, sir. Correct. A database administrator will handle only database servers. Only server database or... servers. See, we have different, different teams. Very good question. Excellent question. We have different, different teams in the organization. We have database teams, DBA teams. Okay. Okay, right. Uh, what are the teams involved? Database. Database team. Okay. Uh, uh, Windows team. Network team. team. Yes, please. Application team. Yes, correct. Okay. Network team. Network team. Application team. Storage, Storage team. team. Web team. Yes. That is also correct. Okay. Web team. VM team. Okay. So like this, we have different, different uh, teams will be there in the organization. Everyone will take care of this, their own responsibility, guys. Okay. So in case if it's an application team, uh, you should know the application team contact uh, a mail ID so that you can, uh, why? Because we all have to see, it's not like a database team will uh, work in its own way, nothing like that. 
all the teams are going to be contributed to the successful application okay then only application is able to run successfully 24 by 7 so all teams contribution is very important so database team is always communicate with the windows team storage team network team it's very common application team and all so guys different different teams they are going to take care if network is down that what you can't what you can do you don't have even permissions also to see if windows uh, something issue with the server windows server you don't have permissions to see only windows team can handle that take care of that okay network team network is down you can't do anything network team is going to take care of it so you will have only permissions to the database servers don't think sir our organization is maintaining thousand servers in thousand servers only 200 servers are sql servers you will have access to 200 sql servers only remaining 800 servers might be oracle mysql no sql that or that database servers you don't have access if your dba means don't think you can access all the servers no you can access only sql servers okay you will have access to sql resources don't have access to other servers and all so in this three tier architecture if something went wrong you can directly communicate with that particular team guys okay clear everyone yes any other questions please Sir, another question is uh, you have said that if any issue rises uh, if suppose any team is uh, telling that uh, there is issue from database yes hello can you hear me sir yeah, yeah i can hear you yes please uh, do i need to find out the issue the issue where see, is coming from as it is sometimes see there always there is a tom and jerry war between application team and other teams with the database team everyone will comes and uh, first they will blame database only that's okay no problem okay so if something issue is there we will blame that team if any issue is there they will blame our team so it's very common quite natural it's not uh, abnormal and all so uh, just uh, make sure that there is no issue from the database side and all for that we have to do some health checks so what are the health checks we have to do to check whether the database is online whether there are no issues from the sql server what health checks we have to do that i am going to explain in the later classes and all coming classes and all you can came to know okay 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 yeah yes any other questions guys sir i have a question sir please sir for suppose application team problems mm, windows okay. team net windows team storage team team handle this problem sir application no 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 everyone team. see no nothing like that each teams will like how we are having a oh, guys uh, the meeting is going to end now please reconnect again using the same link please is going to end now please use the same link to join